Hi, in this tutorial we'll learn how to create videos in one lab. We can make videos by interpolating effects between a set of keyframes. This means we specify a few key points in the animation and then the app figures out how to create frames in between. For this tutorial, make sure you have show all parameters, show effect tree and show bookmarks enabled from the settings. Okay, let's start with a basic example. I've loaded a picture of a cloudy sky, but feel free to use whatever suits you as a starting point. Let's go to the distort group and select the rain puddle effect. Select the time parameter. As you can see, it's set to zero by default. Tap the bookmark icon near the top of the screen to bookmark this image. This will be our first keyframe. Next, increase the value of the time parameter to round 10 and tap the bookmark icon again. This will serve as our second keyframe. So the only thing we've changed between our two keyframes is the value of the time parameter. Now you can see a video icon has appeared. Click it and that will bring us to the video creation page. Our keyframes are pre-selected in the order we bookmark them. Select the resolution and the duration of the video and tap the create button. As you can see, the app is creating new frames between our bookmarks. All it's doing is changing the time parameter little by little between 0 and 10. The same principle applies to all generated videos in the app. You can use as many keyframes as you want in your videos, but in general having more keyframes may make the end result harder to control. Now the video is ready and we can tap open gallery to review it. That's it, we've made our first video. Now let's move on to something a bit more sophisticated involving multiple effects. We're going to make a spinning 3D globe. Let's cancel the current rain puddle effect and return back to our cloudy sky. For this next effect, it helps to have some relatively bright spots in the image, so I'm going to increase the brightness using the adjust effect. There. Let's go back to distort and select the wave flow effect, confirm it as is, and let's go to the 3D group and select spherical topography. Go to quick looks, select gas giant, you can move around a bit, increase the layers to around 500, and the overlap parameter a tiny bit to make it a bit less transparent. De-zoom a bit and bookmark. That's our first keyframe. Next, select the effect tree, tap wave flow, and now we're back in control of the wave flow effect. Pan from left to right a few times, go back to the effect tree, select spherical topography again, and zoom back in. Tap the bookmark icon to create the second keyframe. Let's confirm the effect. Sometimes, depending on your workflow, you won't have access to the video icon, but you can always access the video creation page through the main menu. This time I'll have to manually select the keyframes. First the small planet, then the big one. As before, select the resolution of the video and the duration, and tap the Create button. As you can see, this time we're changing two effects simultaneously. The wave flow is being panned left to right, while the spherical topography is being zoomed in. You can change as many parameters as you like between keyframes. The rendering in this one is a bit slower, so I'll speed it up and leave you with the final result. Thanks for watching!